I thought somebody might <clears throat> enjoy this or uh, at least help somebody out. Uh, I know there's a bunch of videos on how to cut these things, how to cut them to length, how to get them the same length, different methods. Well, being a carpenter, uh, I oftentimes I'll, I'll have to make repetitive cuts at the same length and what I would typically do is make a jig well I just took this block of wood put a back stop on it and uh, a stop at the bottom here and uh, what I did is I, I took my adjustable push rod and lined it up with the one I have to cut Took the tip for the new one and figured out uh, how much I had to cut off using that. So if you see right there, everything lines up. And this is where I would have to cut the uh, new push rod. This is, this is the length I came up with doing the geometry. This is how much difference in the tip. I mean, if you're doing this yourself, you'll see that that's obvious. But anyhow, uh, long story short, to make this the right length, it has to be cut at that point. So I made the jig with the stop. Got a back stop. I got a bottom stop. So all I got to do is take this, flip it over. I can make a uh, mark with this knife. Like so. Could have scratched it in there. And you can see it makes a nice line. I'm gonna use a pipe cutter to get these cut. And, uh, and uh, I will see how that goes. I got rid of, uh, kind of screwed up and got rid of the, the tappets or the, the lifters from when I took the motor apart. I had no idea I would need them, you know, being fairly new at this, I, I, I scrapped everything. So now I got to come up with a different way to pound these ends on. Uh, my idea was to get these really, really cold and apply a little heat to this and uh, see if that doesn't help get it started if not you know i will uh i'll come up with something it'll probably be made out of wood but you know that's that's what i'm working with right now so hopefully uh hopefully those go on fairly well but we'll see in a minute here so in case anybody needs to see this, so what I've done, you can see the line that I made. Take the tubing cutter and there's a little cutter in there. Line it right up, right up with that. Apply a little pressure there so I can tighten it, keep it in the same spot. So you can see right on the line that I made. Give it a couple spins here just to make sure it don't jump out of that line. And it stayed right in the line. Clamp it up here. It's a little pressure. Just to hold it for me. Spin it around. Tighten it. This part of it. Pretty mundane. Simplistic. You're only going to get a little bit of a turn out of it each time. 
You usually turn it until it feels loose. There you go. Nice clean cut. And that's it. Wash, rinse, repeat. So you got all eight done. And let the fun begin. So here's the method I've come up with since I threw out the uh, lifters, got rid of them. So I'm just spraying some uh, silicone. It's the it's the uh, dry lube in there let that set up for a second a little bit on each piece found a couple brass plumbing fittings I figure that's gonna do the least amount of damage to the piece put a piece on the, the bottom here Place the uh, the end in like so. Put that on there. It stays on there nice and square. And just give it a few wraps. Pound it home. Sounds solid. Check it. Got a little bit to go there. You can see it's working though. Is it the best method? I'm sure it's not, but. Did it work? Absolutely. And that ring around there, that's just with the brass leaves on there. But there's no Mars, it's it's not dented or anything, and I can you know I can polish that out with some 800 grit or what have you, but but that's that's how I made it work without uh, without the lifters. So, I don't recommend it. Everybody I've seen is using the lifters to get these together. But, like I said, I, I got rid of mine. I scrapped them. My bad. But, you know, making it work. Thanks for watching. One other thing I wanted to show is... uh taking this burr bit right here. I don't know if it's called a burr bit die grinder. <clears throat> and after I've cut them with the tubing cutter, kind of <clears throat> leaves a little bit of like a flash on the inside there. Just take the end of this. It's kind of, uh, it's got the right shape to it. And then just spin it around by hand to clean that out. <clears throat> makes it a little more gives it a little uh, bevel on the inside there so that gets nice and started in there so I, I just wanted to show that real quick and that's the end result of all that doing it without tappets is it perfect uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not too shabby. Let's see.
Not sure what that's all showing. And by the way, this is what this piece took the brunt of everything. This piece and the this piece here. I can't see shit down in there. Anyway, I just set them. I stood them up in there. Place this on the top. It's the side I hit with the hammer. That side ended up at the end of the uh, push rod. Go right into that piece. And it worked, I guess, for the most part. That's that's the end result. Did I cut them all perfectly the same? Yeah, it's hard to tell. some of the brass kind of rubbed off on the ends of them but they're not damaged in any way other than having a little brass rubbed onto them and that was you can see that ring is from where that thing sat and I stuck them in there but the tubing cutter, is it the best way to cut? I'd have to say no. Because I'm, I'm absolutely sure they're not all exactly the same size. But they're pretty damn close. So that's it. That's, that's, that's the best thing I could come up with without having the old tappets. So there you go. So thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.